Fiona Bugler, founder of Endurance Women, interviews Dame Kelly Holmes at the National Running Show in January the 20th, 2018. Would you agree with me that women are becoming more empowered the more they take part in big events? <clears throat> yes, and absolutely. I think you why? only have to look at sort of this show today, how many females there are, yeah. and that split is becoming such a thing for anybody and everyone. I do think that females can get empowered because there's the point where there's a social element of meeting people, going for a run, joining groups, yeah. going on social media, getting tips from people. I think there's a piece of it's me time. Mm-hmm. You know, you get out, you go away from home, you kind of go out, whether it's the fresh air or whether it's to the gym, there's a time where you can actually feel good about yourself. Yeah, yeah. I think a lot of women think of it from a health benefit. Yeah. You know, we've seen so many people that have struggled over the years uh, health wise, whether that's mental health or physical health or a disease that the mother had. They're taking more account of their bodies now and thinking actually by doing something about it they can limit the effects of maybe either the inevitable getting older or to help with recovery both mentally and physically so yeah so social health mental health physical health so you know enable it i think it enables us to live long and live well yes and also in the work environment do you think having that push that limit oh my gosh yeah i think um it's been a part where, you know, I do a lot of corporate speaking and yeah. you always get to the point where 70% male and 30% female. Yeah, I say, yeah. well, how do I show myself and how do I bring? And at the end of the day, for me, it's not really about whether you're male or female. It's whether you're good enough yeah. to do something. Yeah. And the only reason you can show that is to believe you are yeah. and to prove you are. Yeah. And sometimes that just to go, do you know what? I've got experience like anyone else. I work damn hard to get where I'm going I'm going to prove I'm as good as anybody yeah. else and that has to then you have to then empower yourself and other people around you to go hold on a minute we're equal in this world yeah. we add as much to anything else and yeah. you just got to then and then if you're physically that. you know running 26 miles or half mm. marathon second goals achieving them it's going to reinforce that for you I, I think yeah I think what running what running does is set those boundaries and actually where people can see limitations you can surpass exactly. them yeah. you know you can think in your head this is like no chance yeah but the moment you do it or the moment you tick off one extra thing in the book that you didn't yeah. think you could do you're just like <laughs> yeah and, and i think age? you should self self pat yourself on the back sometimes and go do you know what i didn't think i could and i did yeah. i didn't think i would and i did yeah. you know it's all about and there's more and more women who are over 50, yeah. over 60, over 70, as well as younger women who are pushing boundaries all the time, I believe. I think older women are pushing more boundaries yeah. than younger people. I, I agree. I think they're <laughs> believing they can do more. Yeah. I think they're now seeing the world that actually, do you know what, there's, there's no real limit yeah. unless it's enforced on you. Yeah. You know, and it's only you that can make things happen. And, and I don't care what people say about, oh, you know, you embrace age. No one really wants to get older because yeah. you maybe want to achieve more in life or you yeah. think like, like ah, you know, you're trying to pull back the time. But when you do something that empowers you, just you go, do you know what? I get better with age. I'm yeah. feeling better. I see clearer. I do things because I want to do. Yeah. And uh, I've met so many women over the years that started running late. Yeah, that have done crazy things, you know, yeah. marathon upon marathon, ultra distances. When they were in their 30s, 40s, didn't run a mile or step, you know? <laughs> You're saying you do. I totally so, did, yeah. You know, I think um, the world is becoming a much better place. Uh, the industry is becoming empowering. Yeah. And having something like this now shows yeah. how much people are involved in it. And one final question is about the work you do outside of like on from running with young yeah. women and you can just tell me a little bit about what, where you're at with Get Dame Hilly yeah, yeah. so we work with disadvantaged young people in areas yeah. of deprivation we yeah. use sports people as mentors yeah. our aim is actually to get them back into work, employment uh, sorry, employment, education, Brilliant. training but you use sport as the hook the, the exactly. size of uh, being focused, setting yourself goals, discipline, attitude, behaviours, that yeah. all comes through sport, you yeah. know, what it's like. It takes discipline to say, I'm going to do something, I'm going to get out the door and go for a run. Yeah. It also takes respect, respect of yourself, so looking after yourself, your well-being, yeah. and respect of other people, not yeah. putting people down because actually they could be better than you. So actually we use sport as a tool to engage young people. Perfect, and I think with women using the tool of sport, we can change the world. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you know, we are, as I say, 50% of the population, so now we need to shout about it. Yeah. Don't be afraid. 
do things because you want to do it, do things because you believe in it, and we can help each other. Perfect, thank you so much. Brilliant. Thank you. <laughs>